kids. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were looking right at me. Well, I have here some... I don't know how to call this one. Hmm, I want to eat this one. However, I realize that this is not a real vegetable. Hmm. I am so hungry today. But anyway, I'm not gonna eat this since this is gonna harm my tummy. I don't want that. Okay. So, well, anyway, this is Teacher Michelle, and I am your teacher for today. Are you ready to learn with me? Good thing, kids. Today, we will be recognizing useful and harmful materials. Hmm. When you say materials, these are things. Okay, so, but before that, I will tell you what we will be learning for today. Okay, so we have our goals or what we call objectives, okay? Let's learn the four objectives or the four things that we need to learn for today. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> Me too. I am so ready. Let's get started. So, today, after this lesson, you will one ding 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 number one you will identify and describe useful materials hmm. number two you will identify and describe harmful materials oh dear and Number three, you will classify. When you say classify, put things in different places when they are different. So, you need to classify useful or harmful materials. And for number four, da -da -da -da, use precautionary measures when you say precautionary measures, these are the things that we need to do so that we can be safe. So we will use precautionary measures in using certain materials. Okay? Got it, kids? Well, I hope you got it. So we will get started with our lesson. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Hmm. Now, I will be giving you four examples of things which can either be useful or harmful. Hmm. Let's see. So, I have here paper. Hmm. And here, we have drained batteries. Here, we have pencils. Hmm. And here, we have stinky vegetable leftovers. Ooh. Now, can you tell me which is useful and which is harmful? Hmm. So, we will be switching those later on. Okay? Great. Now, here, let's get started. Let's put the useful things here. And let's put the harmful things here. Hmm. Let's try to switch the things that we have talked about. So, useful things. We have here rotten vegetable. Ooh, smelly vegetable leftovers. And here we have papers, which is useful. Yes, that's 
papers. Hmm. What about leftovers? Hmm. Vegetable leftovers. Got it. We've got to move it here. Hmm. Because that's kind of stinky. Okay. So, but what about here? What things are useful? Great thinking. That's pencil. Okay. We are going to move here. Pencil. We're going to leave drain batteries right there. Now, here you can see the useful materials are paper and pencils. And the harmful materials are drain batteries and stinky vegetables. Hmm, how did we find out about it? Let's see. Let's talk about using the properties of materials to tell whether they are useful or harmful. You ready, kids? You ready? Hmm. Let's go. So we can tell when things are useful or harmful by looking at their properties. Yes, that's right. There are things that are recyclable. You say recyclable, so they can still be used right after using them in the first place. Hmm. What do you mean, teacher? That's kind of difficult to understand. Hmm. Now, what I mean is, for example, a can. You can use a can as a pencil holder. That's how you recycle, okay? There are also things that are toxic. <gasps> What's toxic? Hmm. So when you say toxic materials, these are harmful to you and people or animals around you. Yes, you got it. Now, different materials have different purposes. They are useful when you can use them or when they have their purpose. Okay? Now, it's very important to tell kids whether materials are useful or harmful. It's because it is valuable for us people to stay safe. Okay? Got it? Good thinking, kids. Now here, for example, the paper and the rotten vegetables. So those are two kinds of things. Papers are useful because we can use them in different ways. We can write on them. We can draw on them. We can even make circles and we can make different shapes like heart or hmm, rectangles and diamonds. And we can even fold them to make different shapes. While rotten vegetables, we eat them. Oh, they're gonna make our tummy kind of painful. Do you want that? Do you want that? Oh dear. No, you don't want that to happen. That is why it is important for us to know which is useful or harmful. Do you understand? Now let's find out some more. Let's go. Now, kids, I want you to take a look your surroundings. Hmm. You can go to the different parts of your house. You can go first to the bathroom. Hmm. What things there are useful? To tell you, there are useful things that can be harmful when not properly used. Hmm. 
What do you mean, teacher? Okay, example. So, we have soap in our bathroom. Now, soap is used for our body when we are taking a bath. La, 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 la. However, hmm, it's not edible. When you say edible, we cannot, or we can eat it. I'm sorry. Oops, that's a mistake. So, when it's not edible, that means we cannot eat it. So, if we try to eat soap, that's going to be dangerous to our health. Mm -hmm. You see, soap is a useful thing. But without precautionary measures, we will be in danger. Do you want that? Of course not. You shouldn't. Now, another example. Let's talk about dishwashing liquid. Hmm. How are they used? They are used for washing the dishes. La, la, la. But when we try to drink them, what's what will gonna what's gonna happen to us? Oh dear. What do you think will happen? You got it. It can cause tummy or serious poisoning. That is why it's important to learn which is useful and which is harmful. Again, there are useful and harmful things. But then, there are also harm or useful things that become harmful when not properly used. Got it, kids? Hmm. Now, I'm going to give you some words, some things that you can find in your house and tell me if they are useful or harmful. Are you ready? Hmm, let's start. So, um, let's have here, ta-da, pillows. <sighs> pillows are so soft. Is it useful or harmful? Tell me, boy. Four, three, two, one. You are correct. It's useful. Hmm. What about gasoline? Is it useful or harmful? Hmm. Count to five. Four, four, three, two, one. Hmm. What is it? Yes, gasoline can be harmful. Why do you think so? Just try to imagine if you smell gasoline for a long time. What do you feel? Yes, true. For people who have asthma or lung disease, it can be can make them feel like <sighs> they can have shortness of breathing. Okay, good. Now, also, if people swallow or ingest, when you say ingest, we take something to our mouth and then it goes to our tummy, that's ingest. When people ingest, or when people ingest gasoline, uh-oh, that's going to be terrible. Yep. What about when we say, let me think. What about when we say plates? Are they useful or harmful? Can they harm us? Of course not. Okay, so they are Useful. Ta -da. Now, hmm, what else? Hmm, what about uh, cats? Are they useful or harmful? Good thinking, kids. They are useful. You know why? 
because they can be recycled. They don't harm people. Okay? Good, good, good. Alright. Now, most things that can be recycled are useful to us people. Good. So, we are done. Now, here, let's review our lesson for today. Okay? Again, we have talked about useful and harmful materials. Now, I think you already know how to tell which is useful and which is dangerous or harmful to our health. So, kids, remember when things are useful, they can be recycled. Also, they don't harm our health. Hmm. When you say harmful, it can be a thing that might cause damage to our health when we don't use them carefully. Okay? So, they have toxic materials. Hmm. When you say toxic, that means such material is dangerous or it can cause serious problems to our health. Well, I hope you have learned something from me today, kids. So, I will see you on our next lesson. Bye-bye! 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 This is Teacher Michelle again, saying goodbye. See you on our next lesson!